section of political leaders from the Mount Kenya region insist that they will not fold their parties to join dominant political outfits ahead of the 2022 general election. Katondo South Member of Parliament Moses Kuria, who is allied to the Chama Chakazi Party, and William Kabogo, who is crafting the Tujibebe wa Kenya Party, cite flawed nominations in the so-called big political parties and the possibility of overbearing leadership once the August 2022 bridge is crossed. The duo has been in talks with Martha Karu of NAC Kenya, Mwangi Kyunjuri of the Service Party, TSP, and like-minded leaders under the umbrella of Mount Kenya Unity Forum to spearhead a pre-election bargaining matrix with presidential contenders to secure the best political and economic deal for the mountain. But as Francis Gashuri reports, Korea lists a deputy president slot and 40% of the cabinet as the irreducible minimum for anyone seeking the region's populous vote basket. Details of the Mount Kenya Leaders Unity Forum meeting held on Monday at a city hotel have elicited varied reactions from two of the leaders who attended. Former Kiambu Governor William Kabogo refuting claims of a list of demands settled on by those in attendance for any presidential contender seeking the mountain's backing in the August 9, 2022 State House race. And the first one I saw there, which really pissed me off, is that we agreed the mountain should be given the seat of uh, deputy president. By who? We did not discuss that at all. Gatundo South lawmaker Moses Kuria, who was in attendance, says the region's vote basket comes at a price. The position of the deputy president is non-negotiable. Second thing, we want to have a share, a proportional, not a favorable, a proportional share of government. If we have got uh, 22 ministers, 7, 40 percent. Yeah, six to seven ministers should come from Mount Kenya region. We want 40% of all the PSAs to be from Mount Kenya region. That is not a favor we are asking for. That's a minimum we deserve, and that's our right. The team has convened a consultative session next week in Naivasha to deliberate on the region's economic and political interests ahead of the August 2022 polls. Charity begins at home. Tuko na common interest kama nyumba. Nyumba ya mobi. Tuko na common interest ndani ya nyumba yetu. The forum's membership holding on to their political parties, winding them up to join UDS pushed by some of their counterparts, allied to Deputy President William Ruto, just like constituent parties in the Jubilee Coalition, were folded up to form the Jubilee Party in the run-up to the 2017 polls, not an option. It is the first time we are teaching ourselves how to live life on this earth without a presidential candidate on top of the ticket. Asking us to live that life. And also asking us not to have our party is asking for just a bit too much. It's unfair and it's selfish. Because if you fall into the trap that, that many of us fell into 2017, you will be a popular candidate and you will not get a seat because there is a popular party. All you need to do is a, a ticket of that party. That's what happened last time. Kabogo, Moranga Governor Mwangi Wairia, and National Assembly Speaker Justin Muturi, who hail from the mountain, have declared interest in the presidency. What if somebody told you Kabogo is angling to be somebody's running mate? That's well, they, they say so. Not that if somebody tells. They say so. Uh, well, thank you. They think I am uh, uh, deputy material, which is fine. But I'm telling them I am more than deputy material. Tell me what these guys, any of them running for president, have done that I cannot do better. Nothing. The deputy president, ODM chief Raila Odinga, Waipa leader Kalonzo Musioka, and ANC leader Musalia Mudavadi have been on a charm offensive in the region, seeking a slice of the mountain's estimated 6 million vote basket as President Kenyatta's two-term tenure lapses in under 11 months. Francis Gashuri, Citizen TV.